I got the bull by the horn from a downhill crash. Think of better than they ever have been. Well, I missed a lot of loving in my lifetime. Here's a bull's head perfume vendor from 1904. Put a penny in his head, crank the horns, and he'll dispense perfume from his mouth. Made by the Continental Novelty Company in Buffalo, New York. The directions say perfume your handkerchief with ideal June Clover perfume. Drop one penny in slot. Lower horns and perfume will be sprayed from the end of tongue. Looking at the perfume reservoir and pump system by itself, the nozzle in which the perfume is sprayed out of has an o-ring so that it uh, holds perfume from dripping out and there's also a bump here or a nipple sticking out and that is going to be used to seal against a rubber insert that's at the end of the pump and so we'll open up the reservoir and pump so you can see how it works it's pretty simple inside This is the actual pump and it has a rubber insert in the end. So that rubber insert will seal against the nipple on the nozzle like this when it's at rest and that keeps perfume from dripping out. Depositing the penny and cranking the bull's horn will pull back on this plunger and allow perfume to fill up in this tube through a hole that's up towards the tip of the tube right up there is a hole so the plunger will pull back far enough to let perfume go into that hole and then when the penny is snapped out of position and allows this to spring back the plunger will shoot forward and when that plunger shoots forward it squirts out a predetermined amount of perfume that filled up that tube so I unsoldered this and opened it up to make sure that everything was clean and in good shape take out all the old perfume residue, get it all cleaned up and ready for new perfume. The perfume reservoir and dispenser is back together. There's a spring here which pushes on a roller to keep this locked into position and the tongue has been nickel plated it mounts on the reservoir when a penny is inserted in the top of the bull's head the penny ends up falling right here and as you crank the horns the penny pushes against this tip and it rotates as it rotates, a lever here pushes back on this roller which retracts the piston or the plunger that's inside and as you continue to crank the horns and the penny pushes back, this lever will get past this roller, slide off it and allow the plunger to shoot back quickly which then sprays perfume out of the mouth. So putting a penny in here causes this to rotate and pushes back and then snaps forward as it gets past it.
This coin chute has a screw that goes through with a slot and a spring that goes into the slot and this spring keeps the screw from rotating. The purpose of the screw is that you can set the depth how far in and out the screw is and that's going to determine the position of where this coin slide will sit inside the bull's head so that the penny makes the proper transition from the top of the head down to the perfume reservoir. It needs to be adjusted in this fashion and that's done by where the screw sits against the inside of the bull's head. Drop a penny in, give the horns a crank. In order to keep the reservoir as clean as possible, I'm mixing my own perfume. So I have pure ethyl alcohol or ethanol and I'm mixing that with essential oil. This is lavender, which I purchased from a company called Life Tree Aromatics. Guy's name is John Steele, real nice guy to talk to. Has many different fragrances to choose from. I've also tried some jasmine, which I really like, but I found that about 10 milliliters of oil to 50 milliliters of alcohol is a pretty good ratio for this perfume vendor. Crank the horns and get bull spit. I did say spit, didn't I? For more information, visit GameRoomRepair.com.